everybody, welcome back to Markers and Monsters for day 15. Oh my goodness, we're almost, almost halfway through October and I can't believe it. Today's theme is a really cool one. It is drive-in creature feature, which is uh, something near and dear to my heart. Um, I don't know about you guys or where you live or maybe if you're in another country, you don't have drive-ins, but the uh, drive-in is a very, uh, very American thing of, of uh, movie watching. It's everybody gets in their cars, they uh, go out to basically the drive-in theaters in a field, and it's just you sit in your car and there's a giant screen out there and they project a movie for you. I don't know, but there's that, that might sound a little weird or not cool, but there's something about it that's just absolutely great. And uh, it, it, it always feels like such a vintage slice of uh, Americana. Like every time I go, I feel like I'm in the uh, 1950s or something. Now, granted, today in 2016, drive-ins are uh, very uh, rare anymore. Um, I know just the one that was out near me here in Pittsburgh actually closed, the, uh, the, the Twin Highway. And uh, we'd seen, my wife and I had seen a couple of different uh, movie sets there. Now, and it was a great experience, you know, there's a concession stand and projection room in the middle, and you could get, you know, popcorn or greasy, salty snacks, and you're in the privacy of your own car, which is really cool, or you can take some chairs and sit out, and, you know, the music's piped in through your own radio, so you either have your car radio on, or you bring, like, a stereo with you. Um, I don't know, there's just something about the experience that's, uh, I don't know, really magical, and uh, there's kind of like a romance about it, too. You know, uh, you see drive-ins in, in all kind of movies and stuff like that. And uh, uh, it's just a really great time. <clears throat> I'll, pardon me. I'll throw a link down in the bottom, too. I know that out in uh, Vandergrift, Pennsylvania, their uh, drive-in, Riverside, every year they do a really cool, I think it's twice a year now, but it's uh, like their horror show where they're showing old horror movies at the drive-in and it's all night. So, uh, you know, you go and uh, it's it's four movies. They start at uh, dusk or, or pretty much shortly after, you know, when the sun goes down. And um, it's four movies just back to back all night. And they'll show all kind of stuff. Like one year they were showing uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Friday the 13th. And then they showed a bunch of Christopher Lee Dracula movies one time. And just like this old, really cool, like stuff you'd normally see, you would hope to see at the drive-in. And, uh, yeah, it's a great experience, so uh, if you guys are ever in, uh, like, the Pennsylvania area or you're looking for that, like I said, I'll throw links in the description, and uh, it's a pretty great time. Now, I remember going to the drive-in when I was a kid. It was always such a big deal because, uh, you know, we were allowed to stay up way late because usually with the drive-in, there's uh, usually at least two movies. And uh, nowadays, it's, it's aside from, like I said, that uh, in Vandergrift, their, their monster-rama that they show, it's mostly like first-run movies, like anything you could go see in the theater, you could go see in the drive-in. Um, so when I was a kid, you know, I, we've, we'd seen the, uh, I remember very fondly, the Super Mario Brothers movie, if you guys remember that one from the 90s with uh, Bob Hoskins and... Uh, um, Oh, I can't think of his name, but it's Luigi. Um, it'll come to me as soon as this video's over, too. But uh, those guys, <laughs> they were in the uh, John Leguizamo. Boom. There it is. Didn't even look it up. That was just spur of the moment right off the right out of the old brain pan. But the Mario Brothers movie from the 90s, which was goofy and weird, and I, I kind of love it for that reason. But saw that in the drive-in. Pretty sweet. Um, recently, we saw the Oblivion, that Tom Cruise movie in the drive-in, um, which, by the way, great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But, uh, yeah, all kind of stuff we'd seen. I also love seeing drive-ins in actual movies. I, Twister immediately comes to mind, where for some reason they're, watch, for some reason they're watching The Shining, which uh, doesn't seem like super great drive-in fare, because I love The Shining, but it is, it's a rather slow-paced little flick. Um... But yeah, they're watching that when the you know tornado comes and it tears it up and flings hubcaps around. Yeah, pretty sweet. But uh, you know, there's a, a movie I have where there is a werewolf at a drive, and it's like this short, like I don't know, 15-minute thing. It's on this weird uh, DVD disc, 
with a whole bunch of different horror shorts on it and stuff. But yeah, werewolf running around in the drive-in. And just a lot of great fond memories. And I don't know, it's pretty cool. And that's another thing. When I think drive-in, I think monsters. So this is, uh, this is what I'm doing. Looks like the inking is getting done here, guys. Put in some shadows, and we're going to sign it and uh, put in the stars. Take a look at the scan here. Yeah, this was a lot of fun, as usual. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed just chatting here about the drive-in movie theater. Hey, if you guys have any drive-in memories or anything that you uh, really like or want to talk about, please let me know in the comments. I'm really appreciating all of your support and the likes and comments. And So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Well, that's it for me for today. We'll see you tomorrow. There'll be another cool uh, Drolloween theme, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>